Alright guys, this review is more back with another review video. This one's going to take more of a comparison style video. And as always, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please hit that button at the bottom and leave a comment. I'll really appreciate it. And uh, so we'll be comparing the Red Copper, Gotham Steel, and this, which is the real subject of the review. This is a Target brand ceramic nonstick pan. Now, um, we've all seen and probably seen tons of reviews for the red copper pans, the Gotham steel pans, this, the granite rock pans, which I think are just hunks of garbage. And we're going to run through this one. So the key thing with this is it is a ceramic pan, much like the red copper ones, but it's available at Target from the store. So um, it has a rubberized handle, which the Gotham steel pans don't have. As you can see right there, you see a Gotham steel pro, which is the quote unquote higher end cost 20, $25, depending on where you're at. And that one's got a little bit of burned on stuff onto it because I got to clean it. But we're not, I'm using some old footage of the uh, Gotham Steel, but you'll notice even the bottoms of these pans look the same. Um, the Target pan, this one is a 10 inch for $20. The uh, Gotham Steel Pro, typically there is nine inches and I think goes for 25, but at least 20 bucks is the typical price you see at the store for it. And these were both picked up at Target, oddly enough. I bought the Gotham Steel one at Target and I also bought the, obviously the Target brand one there as well. There's no instructions on the Target brand pan with regard to any kind of sealing or seasoning. So we're not going to do that. We just rinse it off real fast to make sure it's not dirty. Um, as always, with any of these pans, you avoid using harsh soaps on them. So use hot water for cleaning for the most part. The, uh, the Target brand pan is perfectly fine for use in uh, the oven up to 400 degrees. Anything over that, I imagine, would ha start having issue with that rubberized handle. Um, compared to like the, I think the Gotham steel and the uh, red copper respectively both hit 500 degrees because they use an all steel handle because that rubber's on there, it lowers the temp a little bit. So pick your poison. Uh, the depth of the pan is also a little bit deeper than the Gotham steel pros. So that gives you a few more options as far as dealing with splatter. And you're going to see a few quick tests. First, you'll see a cheese test. Then you'll see a cold start test on the, uh, uh, target brand pan. And after that, you're going to see comparison with a cold start on the Gotham Steel pan, followed by a hot start with butter on the uh, Target pan to finish it out. I'm going to go ahead and timestamp all these in the uh, pinned comment. So go ahead and if you want to skip ahead and go there. But as far as uh, what this is for, I'll tell you it works just fine. Just if you don't want to skip ahead and watch the whole thing. But as, with regard to how easy it is, it's basically comparable to the to any red copper Gotham Steel pan. Uh, this one's more in the vein of Gotham Steel Pro because it's still the, the cast aluminum underneath it, but it's very thick compared to the red copper pan, which is kind of thin. Um, this will be less prone to um, warping due to heat. So overall, this is a perfect choice for someone who's like, well, I like the red copper pans, but that orange poop color is just so god awful. I want something that's a little more understated. That's this. And Target has a whole bunch of these available, but this is their this is their in-house brand of ceramic cookware, and it's a cool option. So I'll go ahead and leave it here. I'll put some elevator music over the back of it, and I'll timestamp all the stuff that really matters. So just take a look at that pinned comment, and you'll see it there. Thanks for watching, guys.